Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video I thought I'd show you guys and lasses a little kit that I've always included in my Bergen or rucksack. Um, and this is basically for people that are going to be travelling a good few miles on foot or intend to stay out for an extended period of time, especially off the beaten track. Um, people that are into hiking, um, orienteering, etc that are going to cover a lot of mileage now recently on YouTube a lot of people have been showing various first aid kits which for me is fantastic the more the merrier in my opinion um, but this little kit seems to be missing and I'll show you now what that is to include and the reasons why so stay tuned Welcome back. So the kit item that I've got here on the bench, as you can see by the <laughs> the giveaway, the foot powder in the background, is a bit of a kit to look after your feet. So it's a sort of a semi first aid kit for your feet. Now before I get into the nuts and bolts of this, I just want to say straight away that along with this kit, I'm taking that um, within your personal hygiene kit you will have things like you know soap um, a way of washing and drying yourself so two at least towels or mini towels you know soap on soap off a way of keeping yourself dry your main first aid kit with all your other um, personal meds and, and equipment in there to include uh, you know a form of antibacterial etc um, all your standard field dressings within that um, lighting you know to you might have to do this operation in the dark etc etc that's why I've got the little head torch here just to you know it's it's something that you must always remember might not necessarily be doing this sort of thing in the daylight so the, the foot kit itself it's a little first aid kit for your feet now when I say first aid kit I mean do I excuse me there is enough items in here for anybody that's done any serious hiking that absolutely knows that when your feet start to give you trouble and become problematic you then all of a sudden realize how important your feet are to you you know without your feet you're going nowhere they are the most important bit of kit on your body <laughs> whilst you're moving obviously so you need to keep them in good order and don't forget prevention is always better than cure so notice the warning signs notice hot spots notice the color of your skin take notice of your body basically prevention is always better than cure and learn what those signs are telling you so like I say this kit's basically aimed at people that are doing a lot of mileage hikers etc um, and are going to be probably away from um, a form of help let's say more so than than us normal old guys like me nowadays but i still always include this kit in my long range bergen my long back bergen um, for further distances or just in case kits um, i've always swore by this sort of thing in the past so i'm going to burst this open now and show you what's in in here but before doing so just a quick look around these a couple of insoles they're only thin they're not massively thick they're very well aerated and that's for two reasons. One is obviously aeration, lets some air flow around your feet, lets water and blood out should you be in a, in a position where you are actually bleeding. And it does happen. I've had my feet in bloody messes um, many times in the past where I've actually had to cut into my boots to let that water and blood out. This helps raise the platform of your foot off the sodden um, boot footwear to allow airflow and fluid escape so I also recommend these just purely for morale for uh, for morale for comfort you know when you are beat up in the foot department a nice pair of soft comforting insoles oh yeah you know it's 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 worth its weight in gold that being said also I'm also taking that fresh socks etc is a given you know within your kit your clothing your spare clothing so so the kit itself Quick little um, Webtex, this is Webtex, yeah, Webtex um, DPM type of lightweight. It's It looks bulky, but it really is 
nothing to this. So inside of here, to start with, let me pan you down here a little ways. So in here I've got two fresh unopened rolls of medical tape. Tape, tape, tape for any emergency. You know, it doesn't have to be pretty. As we all know, going on the first aid courses, you know, they teach you how to do the bandages and the proper way to, to, to apply a field dressing. But in a real crisis, get as much wadding on as you can and wrap the hell out of it with tape until that blood extrudes through that dressing. Then more wadding, more tape. You guys and lasses know the score. Doesn't need to be pretty. But tape also makes a good secondary layer for your toes. The knuckles on your toes, um, the heels, obviously the ball of your foot, etc. So tape, it's a good thing to have. It can help where you're wearing gaiters or over socks, should I say, sock liners. You can use this around the top, around the top of your ankle to help keep moisture out if you're in a wet environment or snow. So tape, 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 very highly recommend that. And then within that tape I had a small vial of potassium permag as normal because as we all know it's a great antiseptic, antibacterial, antifungal. Last resort I know but it does work, it's very effective and it's more to use. Covered that in many videos. So I'm just trying to keep this as open as I can here. This is what the inside of the kit looks like. There's nothing flash or fancy like everything that I do. It's very basic, very minimal, very simple but tried and tested and effective. Well, it worked for me anyway. <laughs> so next out, I have a small vial here, as clean as you can get it. And inside of there, there's just half a dozen pins. Now this is a bit of a controversial subject or topic. Medical people will tell you never to burst a blister, which is true. In a normal everyday environment, you shouldn't burst a, bit, a blister because the, the water solution within that blister will help stave off infections, bacteria etc. But if you've taken your boots off, let's say your hammock sleeping at the end of an arduous journey and you're blistered up to the back wheels, come the morning you will not be able to get those boots back on. I promise you, you will not be able to get those boots back on unless you take a pin, make sure it's heated up, whether it be with a lighter or over a fire, or in a solution of water purification tablets or potassium permag, make sure it's clean, pop that blister to relieve the fluid, keep it clean, dress that blister, you're able to put your footwear back on and move on. Without being able to move on, you're as good as done for anyway. So it's up to you to make that evaluation of um, you know, risk versus reward. So a small file of sterile pins. This is just my opinion my experience it's not gospel you guys and lasses do and believe in whatever you want you know what works for you so next out and it is a good substantial pot of this but in my opinion worth its weight in gold petroleum jelly vaseline whatever you want to call it i've got a real good um, click lid pot of this stuff here always keep it as topped up as i can so you know the stuff petroleum uh, jelly Vaseline now great for smearing on blisters or hot spots before they become blisters to include not just your feet now <laughs> I know this sounds silly but for you guys and lasses that know will know that when you're wearing a rucksack for a long period of time or if you're a runner your nipples will burn <laughs> rub some petroleum jelly across your nipples the front hot spots of your shoulders. My worst Bergen burns I used to get was where now my love handles are. <laughs> In those days I was a lot slimmer, a lot thinner. Um, but the because of that, the the padding of the waist straps used to bite in. The the webbing used to bite in right on my hip line, just above the hip. So I always used to protect myself with lashings of padding, lashings of Vaseline. If I knew what was coming, let's say. So Vaseline, brilliant stuff to carry. And as we all know, it's a great temporary wound dressing. You know, it keeps everything clean and sterile. And it's a great fire lighter, multi-use item. So that's another bit of kit I would highly recommend not skimping on. Looks a massive old pot that does, doesn't it? 
but it actually doesn't weigh that much in a I'm talking a Bergen that in my day I used to carry a Bergen that was 60 65 pounds every day sometimes more sometimes less these days my Bergen weighs in at around 45 50 pounds and to be honest with you I struggle with that these days you know with my old knackered knees etc so next out of this little kit are these items and these are the Zippo um, uh, dots they're called the Zippo dots made by Zippo the people that make obviously the famous Zippo lighters etc and they are various sticking plasters for corns bunions and blisters I've gone for the bigger sizes because I can always cut them down they are absolutely brilliant adhesives so they don't just as soon as you get sweaty they don't just fall off they're really really good they're designed to go around the toes in the shape of them if you can get them highly recommend them the dots excuse me sticking plasters for your feet this is something that's also worth having it's made by a company called Compede quite a famous brand but this is like a it looks like a lip balm it comes in a, a tube here which you you wind up with a little roller ball at the bottom there you know, like a lipstick and this is designed to be applied before you get blisters again if you feel in a hot spot or a friction burn anywhere on your foot or toe or anywhere else on your body really anywhere you may be experiencing a friction um, bite get some of that stuff on it before you get a blister so last but not least for me tried and tested absolutely swear by this stuff only the original stuff for me has been any good and that's the mole skin fake skin that if if and when you do get a blister a burn a cut or abrasion you slice some of this stuff off and stick it on and it is literally like adding a good marginal layer of extra skin you can just carry the hell on and it doesn't give you any more trouble after that and it stays on just be mindful that when you come to take this stuff off depending where you've put it I'm not going to go into details but I have been burnt in the past without going into all the detail in the worst place a bloke can be burnt and if you use this stuff it really allevi alleviates it but taking it off is not fun <laughs> at times but keeping it to feet um, yeah moleskin highly highly recommend moleskin and obviously to go along with that in conjunction with that a reasonable pair of scissors to cut that to, to size or to shape of whatever you want but also another top tip I know most of you guys and lasses will know this anyway it comes under your personal hygiene kit in my opinion is keep your nails short your nails are the biggest harbourer of bacteria if you've had your feet wet or sweaty then bacteria will form in that moisture bacteria then spreads to a solid state which will become what we all know as athlete's foot which is a live fungus which then develops and spreads down into the web of your feet your toes rather can spread to the ball and the arch of your foot and if left untreated and left in wet horrible um, bacteria filled conditions will develop into trench foot which can be very very serious can lead into amputations long term um, gangrene all the rest of it so keep your nails short at the end of each night of a long hike and camp no matter how demoralized and knackered you are always take your socks off in my opinion this is just my opinion give them a clean if you can if you can't wipe them down make sure they're dry cover them liberally with foot powder I would highly highly recommend my foot powder it's more expensive but I really do believe it's the best brand you can buy my soles but any foot powder is better than nothing in my opinion don't be frightened of carrying a lot of it because you will use a lot of it on a, on a long hike every night massage that into your feet helps get away moisture and bacteria protects you somewhat moisturizes your skin and it's good for morale it makes you feel good to look after your feet keep your nails short keep your feet powdered this is all just my opinion and from experience from my experience watch what, what worked for me what effect affected me as a young man 
and what I've learnt over the years. Again, to your kit, head torch or a form of lighting, because you may be doing this task in the dark, usually when it's absolutely ladies present, it's raining heavily. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's my take on a foot first aid kit, not to include extra socks, extra clothing, um, drying towels, the whole ancillary polythera, which I think is a given anyway. A dedicated little get yourself out of a sticky situation kit just for your feet, very important. Without your feet, you ain't going nowhere. And it's you're then putting somebody else's life at risk, coming out to fetch your sorry ass out because you can't walk. So always look after your feet, most important if you're going a long ways. Don't not pack something to look after your feet. Just my opinion. So that closes that little subject down. I just want to do a quick um, answer a question basically. I had a recent message, somebody said, why have you taken your last video down regarding the subject where I discussed a little bit about myself, a little bit about my background, my history. Well, purely because no, I haven't got nothing to hide or nothing like that. The only reason I did that is because on further inspection, some of the photographs that I published, I thought to myself, well, I could actually be in hot water for publishing them because I never had the MOD's permission to upload them. So rather than get a strike on my video on my YouTube channel, I took them down. Most of the guys and lasses that are regulars on my channel had seen that video anyway. Um, I may visit it, revisit it in the future and remake it in the future without certain photographs so that you know I'm, I'm staying um, within the boundaries of YouTube and anybody else. I don't want to infringe anybody's copyrights or all the rest of it so get myself in hot water. I enjoy this little hobby so I don't want to be kicked off YouTube basically and that's the only reason why I've taken it down and it's not the most interesting of subjects let's be honest, just me. <laughs> <laughs> Boring fat old fart. <laughs> so anyway, that hopefully answers that. So yeah, just my take on a long term, long mileage, hiking. <clears throat> Bit of a care kit for your feet. Highly recommend adding this to your first aid kit or something similar. So thank you all very much for your patience, your continued support and your continued watching my little channel. I do appreciate it. Um, like I say, I've got lots of different content coming up soon. Hopefully, I keep banging on about this, but it drags on and on. It's in the hands of solicitors at the moment, which means <sighs> solicitors. You know what it's like. So within, I'll say the end of this month, early next month, I should, I should, fingers crossed, have some closure into my little project, which should allow me some fresher content for you guys and lasses to look at as well. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, have a great week. Take care out there, and I'll see you all soon. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah!